Hi guys, welcome to my nine week pregnancy vlog. Um, I am in a La Quinta hotel on the road. We've been doing an RV trip, which has been amazing. Um, and it has been amazing. Not just the default, it's been amazing. It really has been amazing. Um, I have been getting a lot of writing done. So um, I think I've talked about Sarah and I are doing this special project and we have a deadline and um, the deadline is very soon. So I've been utilizing the time in the RV to just get some writing done. It's been great because Mark's been driving. He'll do a full five hour stretch. So I have five hours in the back, sitting in the back, typing away, getting a lot of stuff done. The kids have been amazing. Um, they have their iPads and then we have them take breaks and they have to look out the window and look at the scenery. Um, they've been drawing and painting and um, playing with their toys, which end up scattered everywhere in the RV because as anyone who has done this sort of trip before knows, it's so bumpy back there. Um, but it's just been awesome. It's it's not the biggest RV. So the sleeping situation is Isaac and Bodie are up on top um, above where the drivers sits and drives. My mum and Forrest are where the kitchen table is. Um, they sleep together on probably not the most comfortable pillow situation um, because the pillows are kind of far falling off. And so my mum sleeps on a diagonal and Forrest ends up just sleeping on top of her. Uh, and then Mark and I are in this like little, almost a double bed at the very back. Um, and we have Poet in her Moses basket, um, sort of down the bottom of the bed in this nook. Um, and she's like up in her little wombie and, and she's been sleeping phenomenal. She's just a great little sleeper right now. You are. You're a great sleeper. Yes, you are. Um, but when she's awake, she's awake. She wants the boobies. She sleeps whatever time we put her down. If it's 9 o'clock, if it's 12 o'clock um, on the trip, we've had a couple of later nights for her where we're just like getting the RV together. The kids are already passed out. Um, like last night was, a, I'd say she probably went to sleep at 11.30, but she had put herself to sleep at 8 p.m., slept through at 11.30. I woke her up, put her in her wombie, gave her a big breastfeed, and then she slept the whole way through to about five. And that's her pattern right now. Um, and it feels glorious because I'm getting so much sleep. And she's been really enjoying herself on this trip, looking out the window. Um, so right now we are in Washington. We're right near Seattle. Um, it's beautiful. I have to say I've had my head down in my iPad doing so much work. Um, the work's going to lessen up over the next kind of five days, which is great. Um, but yeah, we've only got five days left of the trip, which is nuts to me. And, um, yeah, I think it has been the best trip we've ever done. It has been so much fun. I mean, I'm eating like crap. I'm actually just eating vegan burgers, like the Beyond Burgers at the Carl's Jr. that we pass in like the bigger towns. Um, we brought fruit for the kids. They're eating a little bit of the fruit, but mainly it's like we have packaged foods. Um, I'm eating like those old school vegetarian mammy noodles, like those monster mammy noodles back in the day. I ordered a bunch of them to, to America from Australia. And so I've been eating a bunch of those corn chips and salt and vinegar chips and popcorn and just a terrible diet um it has and i feel really bloated and i was like oh i thought i was getting back into shape after the baby um and i was just looking in the mirror now and i was like well this rv trip has taken a toll 
that's okay. Um, I'll get back on the healthy train next week. Uh, and also we haven't really been exercising. It's just been so much driving. However, when we do stop, it's been beautiful. We're in the middle of redwoods and so much nature and the kids have been running outside and we've been riding bikes and it's just been phenomenal. And we've decided that this is going to be our thing. This is Mark and I feel like real RVers. Like this is something that we're very passionate about and we want to make it a family tradition where we go at least every year. It'd be great to do one in America every year and one in Australia every year with the whole gang, including my mum. And we and we make that a thing. It becomes our family tradition. And um, I realise we don't really have that many family traditions. We do Christmas a similar way. We do one year in Adelaide, one year in America, one year in Adelaide. So we swap off like that and we have a tradition with the tree and the way we do Christmas. But our actual like family tradition of doing a trip that doesn't exist and now I feel like it does. So this is gonna be our thing and I, when we're, we've been staying at the KOA campgrounds like all around, yeah, everywhere we've been going. I won't say all around America because we haven't been all around America. Um, and that's been really cool because it's so kid friendly and one of the places, the KOAs that we stopped at, there was this huge blow up jumping thing for the kids and there was like horses and animals and an arcade room, a big playground, a sand pit. It's just an adventure for the kids. And I know that they're making memories that they'll cherish forever, which is really beautiful. And we're all we're, we're singing songs. We have our song that's the, the theme song um, for our trip, which is that really popular country song. Um, Right now, I got my horses in the back. My horse leg is attached. Whatever, I don't really know the words, but we will dance to it. We crank it up. Um, hi. And then as soon as Mark starts driving, everyone sings, we're on the road again. Um, anyway, total goobers, but having the best trip ever. And I can't believe how amazing Miss Moo has been. You've been amazing. Oh, and there's been so much of that. When I sing to you, you do singing back to mummy. Don't you? You, you do singing to me. Ooh. Anyway, she like, she's really doing a thing where she's imitating me. So if I'm singing a song to her, she'll be like, ooh, she'll try and sing back. Um, lots of cooing, lots of cooing, using your voice. Talking to mama. She's a chunker. She is a chunker. She's over 14 pounds now. Um, I actually don't know. This is really late, by the way, because I've had this deadline and I had to focus on this writing deadline. And I was like, when am I ever going to be able to upload a 15 minute YouTube video on the road? Like, who has good enough Wi Fi to be able to do that when they're traveling? Anyway, because we stopped over in this little hotel. I actually think I might be able to get this uploaded, so you might be able to see this before she's actually 10 weeks. Um, anyway, I'm trying to think more about her. Oh, so her nappy rash came back a little bit last week. Oh my God, the never ending nappy rash. But I figured it out. I did a really cool thing and it went in two days. So we were using the cloth nappies and we've now switched over to Pampers Natural. Um, Sarah recommended those to me, but we only switched over to them for the sake of the road trip because we didn't, we weren't going to be doing any washing on the road trip and I didn't want to carry around stinky, dirty, pooey nappies in the RV. So I've been doing that and I found this cream that I got from the pump station that was recommended to me. Um, and so I put the cream on and then I get the Australian white clay powder that I talked about last time and I put the powder over the top of the cream I pat it all in so it becomes this just impenetrable paste powder film nothing can get through um, I put that in and then I put one of those Grovia nappy liners inside the nappy for extra absorbency and I've been putting it on her and in I would say 24 maximum 48 hours the rash and some of it was starting to open. 
completely went. And so now I feel like I've figured it out. She needs it to be impenetrable. Oh, the little squeals. The little squeals. What's going on? What's going on? You can actually see it poking out the back of her nappy. This is the little grovy thing. Oh, she's done another poo. Um, and I've just been changing her nappy so much. Hello. Hello, my girl, girl. Oh, standing. Standing. She loves, like, we call it standing. But we've done it with all of our babies where they sit down and then we help them. And she pushes up and she stands. Yeah. Um, anyway, so life has been great on the road. She has been a little dream doll. Oh, look at all my mosquito scars. They're just terrible. Guys, here we go. Never scratch a mosquito bites. Terrible. Um, and it has been the dreamiest trip. And she's being really awesome. And I'm just waiting for the sleep to go away and for us to be up every other hour, like what happened with all of my boys. Uh, but for right now, we're cherishing it. We're getting great sleep. She's awesome. Lots of smiles, lots of coos, and lots of love. Ooh. All right, we will see you next week when I'm back on the ground in LA. Um, and thank you for all the amazing suggestions for our RV trip. We've taken so many of them and, uh, and we're really having a great time. All right, guys, we will see you next week. Bye.